Quick story. On Saturday, I was walking past the park and seeing some kids being kids. They were talking with another black guy that I didn't even know was from America. His name is Jojo, and he's from Nashville. They tried to teach him how to dance. I'm not sure how successful they were. Then I played two-on-two -two with the kids. I wanted to hang out with them again, so a couple days later, I took all of them out for dinner. Like life's more than just sitting on your porch or life's more than just playing video games. Like you can actually go out there and do things. Ay, eh, estamos grabando. Estamos grabando en el espinal aquí. Estamos con los reyes de los reyes. Aquí yo y Harley aquí pegando el espinal. Aquí. Estamos jugando por hoy. Okay. 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 Dime paso. All right, they're gonna teach me how to dance. Uh, they're, they're gonna teach me how to dance. I do not know how to do. I do not what. I do not know what I'm doing or how. What I want to do. But uh, what's your name again? Hassan. Jojo, by the way. Uh, me, uh, me, Nombores Jojo. I believe in life. You have to be open to the experience. I met this guy and these kids five minutes ago. Yeah, that, they're, they're 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 doing some sort of move. What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> so we met um on friday right and i was going out I, I was coming from the mall this mall plaza and um it was like a basketball court that i, I i've passed i've passed by this basketball court several times. I didn't even know that the basketball court had rims. While I'm walking past this basketball court, I see maybe seven kids maybe. And then I see a guy with a basketball like trying to make a half court shot. And oddly enough, it didn't even cross me that, that, the, that the, the older guy was American at all. Well, that American turned out to be Jojo. I enjoy telling and sharing the stories of people that I meet. And Jojo had an interesting story. All right, so this is what I need you to do. <clears throat> you need to say your name um, and tell me where you're from. My name is Joseph Forstner. I'm from Atlanta, Florida. Grew up in Mississippi and now I live in Tennessee. So I was raised in an orphanage, a children's home, right? And a lot of people didn't see the outside world in the best light. They were kind of, you know, within themselves, right? Within their own community, right? So they never had big dreams. Like I remember as a kid, I used to say stuff like, I'm going to the NBA, right? That's a big dream. But I mean, I, I know a lot of kids who never even thought about, oh, I'm gonna go to the NBA because they never thought it was even possible. For me, I, re I legitimately thought it was possible, right? And just something as simple as that, like knowing kids that didn't even think that was possible, even though, you know, it's, you know, it's very hard. It's something that was kind of depressing because it's like, man, like life's more than just sitting on your porch or life's more than just playing video games. Like you can actually go out there and do things. But I hear people say stuff like I want to travel, but they'll never actually do it because they feel like they never could do it. So so tell me, how many places have you have you traveled solo so far? Okay, so my first trip was in 2019, right? So I went to China. And how I went to China was basically, I went on the app Cheap Flights and I picked New York City as my home base. And I said, where is the cheapest place I can go? And by about 20, 30 bucks, it was Beijing, China, of all places, right? Um, so I decided to shoot, let me just go to Beijing. Originally it started to be, originally it was gonna be one, two weeks. It turned out to be six week trip. Um, I went to China, Singapore, and Indonesia. Other than that, I've been to Italy, and I've been to Spain, and then now I've been to Colombia. And then come next year, I'm planning to go to Africa. So how are you able to travel the world like this, being so young, you know, like? <laughs> Okay, so when I, thought, when I, when I first thought about traveling, I was trying to figure out, okay, how can I do it? Um, what's the easiest way to do it? Originally, um, I never heard of hostels. I never heard of any, anything that was cheap, that was affordable to travel. I just saw a lot of people traveling, and I figured, shoot, I want to do that. How do you do it? So the first thing you do is YouTube videos, right? Travel, how do you travel this cheaply? How do you save money traveling? How do you save money traveling? So that's exactly what I did. I figured out things like hostel. There's also a thing called couch surfing, if you never heard of it. And what basically couchsurfing is, is where you can host people or people can host you uh, in different countries, right? What I do for a living is I deliver food. 
Pizza Hut, Uber Eats, DoorDash. I think it's the best job in the world because it gives me the opportunity to travel. Like, what would be your wildest dream, bro, that will come true for you? I don't know. I think... I want people one day to tell stories about me without actually knowing me, right? When I say that, they want to be like, oh, I met a guy and he influenced my life. He did this for me. I don't know his name. I think if, if maybe, maybe if a lot of people could think that and eventually got back to me, maybe like, you know, I'm dead and gone and tell a story about me, that'd be kind of cool. But I don't want it. I don't want to be the, the front man in the situation, right? I just want to help people and kind of influence people. For me, it's not about saving the world. It's saving one person at a time, right? If I can affect one, two, three, four, five people, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten people, that's good. And they can affect people, they can affect people, they can affect people, right? Um, so that's that's the main goal, right? Just, just trying to help people, give people an opportunity, give people a chance. This 25-year-old had been to more places in the world than me. He planned and took action, even sacrificed, living in his car for the chance to have worldly experiences. And his dream was to help others anonymously. And all that was great, but that's not what I took from meeting Jojo. What I took is he was a young man that was different and was searching for his place in this world. And I understand it because I'm still on the same search. But the unfortunate thing is the majority of people in the world have given up on their search for their true selves and settle for an online avatar for short-term validation but will become a long-term identity crisis. So right now, uh, I'm headed to, I'm headed back to the basketball course and I'm going to meet the guys because I wanted to take them out for like a pizza dinner or whatever. Um, all of the, or the whole crew, the whole crew. Uh, I found out that a couple of the guys are skaters, you know, it's a skate park that's right next to the basketball course. So I wanted to take everybody out and talk to them about their dreams and, you know, go to this pizza party or whatever. Man, it's super, super busy out here right now. Um, Senor, my uh, my friend, this is, is the si. local is dangerous. Uh, Not good for the people. The police, uh, no, it's good. <laughs> he says not good for me over there. <laughs> Headed to Centro. Centro. Vamos al centro. Got the guys, you know what I mean. We gotta find the taxi. Taxi. Taxi, taxi. Taxi. It's crazy out here. See, see, see. Over there. Hey, yo, what's up, my G? They get in? She is. Cool. Cool. Alright, we headed to Chopped. I don't know where Chopped is, but he taking us to Chop. It's cool. The team with me though, you know what I'm saying? The guys, the guys over here. Hola, hola Colombia. Nombre es Jo. Jo. Yo. No, no, no. No, no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what's up, Ryan? It's a video, by the way. Come on. Loco, 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 loco. That's enough. I don't know. I Delicioso. 
you good, bro? <laughs> Mission um, Food to the Kids was success. Hassan Ooh. made it all work. So thank Hassan. Yo, yo. Sad, sad. We out here. We, we out here. We out here somewhere. We don't even know where we at. Like, I have no idea where we at. Yeah, yeah. I don't know where at either. It's definitely farther away from the tourist areas. Ain't no tourists over here. Bro. <laughs> this is Harleen. He's one of the kids I met on that day, but he didn't come eat with us. So I set up to go talk to him about his dreams to become a skater. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> My boy at Hard Lane, we, you know, told you we got the, we got the hats, we about to eat some pizza. We got the train skate company hat. That shit's dope, man. This is, this is, this is line, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is, this is, this is, this is collection right here. Dream Skate Company. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and continue to follow this journey.